It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beat Seat. Lucas Glover withdraws from the Waste Management Phoenix Open after missing his tea time. Lucas, you bumbling mofo. You know what I mean? Like, your one job is to show up on time so you can tee off. Yeah? I'll be there for an 818 tea time. Oh, it's 820, 826 tea time. All right, why don't you get there at like 730 warm it up? You're going to warm it up, you know? Yeah, I'll get there at 825 and 37 seconds. All right, Lucas Glover, you keep working with that formula. We'll see how that goes for you. He had to withdraw. What? Oh, he had to withdraw. Guys, see? He had to withdraw and he missed his tea time because he does the 825 thing. <laughs> We've been talking about it for years and finally came back to haunt him. <laughs> you know the recurring dream where you realize you've missed your final exam? Lucas Glover lived in the real world version of this nightmare on Thursday morning when he was forced to withdraw from the Waste Management Phoenix Open after missing his tea time. Glover was scheduled to tee off at 8.26. He showed up at 4.37 in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Officials called him and learned he was still in his hotel room unaware that he was minutes away from being disqualified. He was hanging out, guys, banging it out, eating waffles. You know, they got that special waffle maker at the hotel. <laughs> you just push a button. 30 seconds later, you go turn around, grab a little bit of fruit. You got yourself a coffee. You turn back around. There's a waffle sitting there, piping hot. Piping hot waffle. Lucas Glover's eating it. He's not playing, though. He's, he's disqualifying. He wants the waffle more. You know, sometimes you're hungry. He's just like, I don't feel like playing golf tonight. You know? I, okay, he just misread his text messages. I'm kicking myself but laughing at the same time. The Glover, the 2009 U.S. Open champion, has enjoyed a bit of a career renaissance lately. He won the Wyndham Championship and the FedEx St. Jude's Championship back-to-back -back weeks in a rose to the top 30 in the official world rankings, and then he fell asleep and had waffles. Missed the Waste Management Phoenix, Phoenix Open. Good job, buddy. The official rules of golf stipulate in Section 5.3, which Lucas should have tattooed on his arm at this point, you know, with this whole getting there 30 seconds before tea time thing. <laughs> I'm so good. I won back-to-back -back tournaments this year. I can show up whenever the freaking heck I want. Yeah, waffles. waffles? Oh, no, I'm on my way. Guys, he's got to get the waffles. You know, you got to respect the waffle intake. It's either tea time... <laughs> or some tasty fresh waffles made on the spot with a push button, you know? Not a chef. No, we didn't have a guy there who's doing it. Like, who's there, could you make you waffles? No, I'm sorry. Lucas Glover doesn't get that hotel. He gets the one with the push button, $3,000 machine one. You push the button, walk away, come back, whoop, it's out there. I'm throwing a little powdered sugar on top, a little syrup, and we're wrapping it up, you know? Not Lucas, he's getting double. 826. Tea time? No. Screw the tea time. You got fresh waffles coming. Can we throw a little compote on my fresh waffles? Because, you know, I won back to back tournaments. <laughs> When's the last time you did that, huh, Derek? I've never won anything. That's right, Derek. You suck. Hi. I'm Lucas Glover. I did. Uh, missing a tea time is rare, but not unprecedented. Paul Casey nearly missed the opening round of the 2020 WGC Mexico Championship when he thought his tea time was 10 minutes later. Then it actually was the same thing, Paul Casey. What in the freaking heck are you doing showing up 10 minutes before tea time? <gasps> oh, oh, I gotta go. I got a tea time in 9 minutes and 37 seconds. Paul Casey, you almost lost it. You almost had to withdraw. Do I have to withdraw? What? No, no, you, you're good. <laughs> you're good. It's just Lucas Glover. He's the one who had to do it. Mikhail Ray won the, against Keegan Bradley in Europe, pulled off the miracle of Medina. Did you, you guys remember the miracle of Medina? <laughs> Jesus came down. Mary, they were there watching. It was that good of a performance. They wanted to be there to see it. There was healing that day as well. It's in the books, guys. Look it up. You know, I mean, sometimes when you're schooling everybody and you're giving them the knowledge they didn't even realize they needed, Ah, that's what happened. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.